Let's see how well the RTX 4070 Super performs in Dragon's Dogma 2 at 4K, 1440p as well as at 1080p resolutions. I am testing this game today on the CyberPower PC powered by MSI. Full system specifications are on the screen now. If you would like to buy this pre-built PC, then use the link in the description below. Or if you would like to build one yourself, then I will also have all the PC parts linked below. And I will be experiencing the game on the MSI G321CU 4K 144Hz monitor. I'm using the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 4K capture card to record the gameplay, to make sure that there is no performance loss. Did you know that your gaming PC can make you money when you're not using it? With the Salad app you could earn up to $180 per month in rewards, such as games, gift cards, subscriptions to your favorite services, as well as other epic loot if you have an RTX 3060 graphics card or better. Contribute to global computing projects, such as AI processing, during your gaming downtime by firing up the Salad app and turning your PC into a cash-generating powerhouse. Click the link in the description to get started now. Let's start our testing with 1440p resolution, because this graphics card is aimed at this particular resolution. So, I do expect it to work really well. But, <laughs> in this game, anything is possible. So let's have a look. I've selected a high graphics preset. And you know what? I'll disable motion blur, bloom, depth of field, all these nasty things. Yeah, uh, there's been a patch, but it didn't say anything about fixing performance. Although, performance seems to be better now, somehow because it doesn't stutter as much as it used to. Because uh, if you don't know, upon release, day one, and during the first week, this game was a stuttering mess. However, this is i7-14700KF I'm using right here. So, I don't know. Maybe if we use an i5, we'll get a different result, but... At the moment, at least it is somewhat playable. It's not too bad. I mean, there are a few stutters here and there, like right here. The FPS is not smooth, but at least it is playable. Whereas previously, it was close to unplayable. Out of curiosity, I've busted out my i5-14400 PC. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the situation is quite a bit worse than on the i7 PC. So my conclusion is, if you have a weaker CPU, then you are not going to have a good time when you are in the city. Look at those status. Look at that frame time graph. It is much rougher uh, compared to what we've had on the i7. However, once you exit the city, the game runs fine. So, yeah, when you are out and about, just, you know, roaming the world, doing missions, it shouldn't be a problem. And check it out, this is one of the most graphically intensive areas, and we are still getting above 60 FPS, 70 plus. Yeah, it's pretty good. However, I would like to remind you that this is not maxed out graphics. High preset does not mean maximum. So let's see how the game will behave if we max everything out. Image quality to the maximum, ray tracing enabled. Mesh quality on max, filtering on max, texture quality, grass and tree quality on high, Shadow quality on max. I believe that is it. And just like that, the performance is now at 40 FPS. Yeah, not great. But the game does look much better. Have a look at this. It's even dropping below 40. <laughs> Yeah, this is less than ideal, so I guess we'll have to use DLSS. Let's set DLSS to quality mode. 
Okay, this appears to be working quite well. I'm surprised. DLSS quality gave us so much extra performance that we are now at 60 plus FPS again. And the game became very much playable. It is not super smooth. Have a look at that frame time graph. You can see those stutters and you can see them on the screen as well. I can feel them. However, we can play this game like that. And hopefully game developers will fix this CPU issue uh, with stuttering in this particular town. Hopefully soon. Because take a look at this. Once we exit the town, we are okay. Frame time graph is getting flatter and the FPS is smoother and I can actually feel it. It is smooth now. Let's fight this thing. <laughs> Am I strong enough? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, one of my guys is dead already. Wrong button. Let's revive. Yeah, get up. We need you. We need you to fight. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage to it. <laughs> I think I have to retreat. Run! No! Liana! I'll take him. <laughs> Pick her up. Let's go. Run. Oh my god. That thing is vicious. And once again, when we enter the town, stutters are coming back. <laughs> yeah, come on. Game developers, get to work. Fix this thing. And here's what the game performs like with the ray tracing enabled on high graphics preset, DLSS turned off. However, I must note that by default the game selects interlaced rendering mode, which appears to be of a worse quality. So I always switch on progressive. And ray tracing in this game is not too heavy. So as you can see, we are still getting above 60 FPS when we are outside of the city walls. Who's growling? <laughs> Never mind. Check it out. Let's go back into the city and have a look what the performance is like there. I expect it to be above 60 as well. 70 plus? Hmm, pretty nice. Oh, 57 just then. So there are a few FPS dips here and there. Other than that, the game is now playable, even with ray tracing enabled at 1440p on this graphics card. Let's move on to 4K resolution, high graphics preset with rendering mode set to progressive. 45, 43, 42 FPS, yeah. Not great. And the game doesn't look particularly good. There's some detail lost in the grass. Maybe it's just because of the sharpness of the image. I'm not quite sure, but there is no sharpness uh, regulator in the game, except for the upscaling. But the upscaling is off for now. I'll show you DLSS on in just a moment, but check it out. There is no way to, you know, reduce sharpness. So yeah, it is what it is. The game just doesn't look good, especially, you know, in contrast to Horizon Forbidden West. That's the game I am playing right now on this graphics card, on this monitor at 4K resolution as well. And that game looks gorgeous. This game looks like crap in comparison to that. And inside of the city, we're getting 40 plus FPS as well. 
Now let's enable DLSS. Let's set it to quality for now. Sharpness, I'll keep it at around 20%. That's usually working well for me. Oh, and the FPS is again at 60, well, close to 60 plus. We've seen 58 just then, but you know what? It's not too bad. Let's go outside and take a look there. Oh, look at that ox cart. That is a huge beast. Outside of the city, for some reason, in some scenarios, as you can see right now, we're getting below 60 FPS. So that is actually strange because uh, there was more going on in the city, at least from my perspective, but apparently not. Apparently this scene right here is more intensive. So in our quest to get a playable 60 FPS experience at 4K, let's try and enable balanced DLSS. And that does it, yeah. So we have found the graphics settings for the 4070 Super at 4K resolution in this game. It's a high quality preset and DLSS set to balanced. Then you can just lock your FPS at 60 and enjoy the game. Inside of the city, also no problems, close to 60 FPS, with some drops below 60, but that is to be expected with these horrible stutters. That is not because of the GPU. Game developers say that it is because of the CPU. Basically just poor optimization on their part. And I sure hope that we can get a playable experience on the 4070 Super at 1080p. That's why I've uh, cranked all the settings up to the maximum. It is way higher because I've increased some of these settings, including shadows, grass tree quality, texture quality, texture filtering and mesh, as well as image quality right here. No, look at that FPS. Surely my eyes deceive me. It can't be a 1080p below 60 FPS on a 4070 Super. Oh my god. What is happening, Capcom? Or whoever is responsible for making this PC port? This is unacceptable. Yeah, it is official. This game runs like crap. Our VRAM usage is fine, so it is not caused by low VRAM issues. We've got enough, 12 gigabytes. And it's not like the game is even looking great. It looks horrible at 1080p, even with maxed out settings. It looks much better at 1440p, as well as at 4K. On this particular graphics card, with other settings, but yeah. <sighs> There's more value to be had using other resolutions. I guess the only thing left to do is to use high quality preset. And let's enable ray tracing because it doesn't consume that much compute power. So it doesn't affect the FPS that much. Let's give it a go. Yeah, now the FPS is fine, but Picture quality, it's even worse. Absolutely horrible. I do not recommend using this graphics card to play this game at 1080p. And uh, yeah, <laughs> 1440p is the sweet spot. 4K is manageable. But you will have to use DLSS if you want to play at 4K. In conclusion, this game still needs a lot of work to be done in terms of optimization and bug fixes. So I hope that developers will address these issues with future patches. But until then, this game still offers a much worse experience compared to its competitors. And uh, yeah, image quality doesn't look as good for the kind of performance we are seeing. The game is still very playable at 1440p. Obviously with compromises, you just can't run it with maxed out graphics without DLSS. 
at 4K resolution, the game is also playable, but you do have to use DLSS balanced mode. And you can forget about maxing out graphic settings at 4K. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, don't forget to reward my work with a like, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.